Toxicology Given the number of hazardous chemicals workers will encounter in their careers, all hazardous waste site workers should have a basic understanding of toxicology. Toxicology is, in the most basic sense, a study of poisons. Toxicology is the scientific study of poisons and its adverse effects on living organisms. A toxic agent is anything that produces negative biological effects. Toxic agents can be chemical, physical, or biologic in form. A variety of factors influence how toxic a substance may be to a human body and the effects it may have. The effects of exposure not only depend on the chemical, but also how the toxin enters the body, the exact nature of the substance, the frequency and degree of exposure, and may also be influenced by personal factors such as the individual's smoking habits, alcohol consumption, medication use, age, nutrition, and sex. Since hazardous waste workers are exposed to many more chemicals than the average person, and are therefore at a much higher risk of poisoning, it is imperative that hazardous waste site workers be educated about basic toxicology. Today, thanks to hazard communications programs, information about on-site chemical hazards can be found easily. Specific chemicals are responsible for the toxicity of a plant or animal poison. Studies have revealed that the body's response to these chemicals depends on the dosage received. This is called the dose-response relationship. According to the dose-response relationship, all substances are poisons and the right dose differentiates a poison and a remedy. For example, the normal adult dose of Tylenol is 650 mg. However, this same amount would be poisonous for children. Therefore, Tylenol has different dosage recommendations for both adults and children. Any type of chemical exposure can be divided into two categories. Acute exposure and chronic exposure. Acute exposure produces symptoms usually during or shortly after exposure to a sufficiently high concentration of a contaminant. The concentration of a toxin required to produce such effects varies widely from one chemical to the other. Acute reactions are a result of short-term exposure to a toxic chemical and happen immediately such as headaches, dizziness and nausea. Chronic exposure generally refers to repeated exposures to low concentrations of a contaminant over a long period of time. It may take several years before the symptoms of chronic exposure become apparent and are usually not reversible. The low concentrations required to produce symptoms of chronic exposure depend upon the chemical, the duration of each exposure, and the number of exposures. For example liver and kidney damage. The symptoms that may result from an acute exposure may be completely different from those resulting from chronic exposure to a chemical. There are four primary ways the toxins enter the body. Absorption, when toxins are absorbed through the skin or mucous membranes. Ingestion, when toxins are accidentally swallowed. Injection, when toxins are injected into the body, usually via a sharp object or needle. Inhalation, when toxins are breathed through the airways into the body. Inhalation is the number one way that toxins enter the bodies of workers, and is also one of the most dangerous types of exposures.